tight muscles sore this morning. I didn't even know I had them. Really? <laughs> Which muscles? Jeez, that's a good thing. You didn't get a full on. Just remind me, you like those uh, late night infomercials you used to sell those machines that shock your abs and stuff? Oh. It's like that one. You have one? You bought one of them? No, Kimberly did. Oh, okay. But I tried it once. Just for the moment. You get ripped from it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you weren't too taken with the uh, machine, basically? No, all the ab yeah. shocker things? You know, those things are like freaking fingernail on a chocolate. I'd rather try to say the same Okay, well, Israel, uh, we're going to run through the same stuff that we do every time. Uh, you know, Take beer just so we make sure we get all the facts straight. So, all right. Um, and uh, I just want to confirm we didn't interrupt a meeting with your attorney when we picked up your no. work today, right? Or at uh, the jail today, sorry. No. Okay. Um, and you're here voluntarily, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you understand that we can't talk about anything to do with the case involving uh, Samantha Koenig. Uh, if you do start talking about that stuff, then we'll have to stop the interview. To the jail, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, you're going to run through your uh, Miranda rights here, and we've been through them before, but uh, we're going to run through them one more time. Before we ask any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Uh, you have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you questions. Uh, you have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, we will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time. Uh, do you understand these rights as an explanation? Yes. And with that explanation in mind, are you willing to waive your rights and speak with us today? Yes. Um, one other thing, we've got uh, standby counsel appointed in uh, in this particular matter. I believe it's uh, Rich Kruger. Yes. Um, and it may also be uh, Jacqueline Walsh. I'm not 100% sure of that, but. Uh, be that as it may, do you have? Do you want either of those attorneys present today? No. Um, are you on any medications or any other substances that we should know about? No. And are you having any difficulty understanding where you're at or what's going on? No. Okay. I don't know. All right. Now that we're done with that, I apologize. Um, uh, we're jumping here, and the first thing I got to tell you, uh, Israel, we talked about a little bit uh, uh, earlier. That. That stunt yesterday in the courtroom did not go over well. Um, so, well, with a lot of folks, not the least of which were the, uh, were the prosecutors. And that was the delay, actually, we did in here is we knew you had some legal questions, and so we reached out for him to say, hey, uh, Israel says he's got some questions. Are you guys available to speak to him? And, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't even get one of them was in court, and the other one said, you know, basically, what the fuck, <laughs> after yesterday. So uh, they, they didn't think that was too funny. Um, so and why are they afraid I'd actually get away? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that wouldn't be embarrassing for them, I guess. <laughs> no, it's uh, I don't think that they were looking at it from that perspective. You know, lawyers just don't like excitement. That's all it is. Well, it's more of a it's more of a understanding that they thought we were kind of working towards a, a, a goal, and they're you know they're working on trying to get. Keeping Vermont on board, doing everything. I would have sent them an anonymous letter. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're, they're kind of wondering where we're at with that. Where, where are we at with the. What's changed since yesterday? Uh, more handcuffs. Uh, yeah. Well, what's so, changed for you, though? Nothing. Possibly. Additional charges. But <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I don't understand why. Why I, it surprises me that they would take that person to call. I really didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> well, they, they didn't. They didn't, I didn't ter- interpret it as though they took it personally. They're very concerned and and, uh, and very frustrated because I think in their mind we had a business relationship set up there and. Uh, they worked very hard to kind of lay out uh, their position and the things that they thought that they could uh, right. actually do that, that would be in your interest based on the information you've provided. And, uh, so they felt like we had a business relationship, and uh, they felt like the actions they took yesterday really kind of threw that out the window. 
And I got to, I got to, you know, just kind of look that way from our perspective too. Oh, I disagree. I mean, honestly, um, if, and I know we can't go too far back into some of the original interviews, interviews that I had with them, but um, by their own words yesterday in their opening statement to the judge in court, um, you know, I feel like I they have not been uh, honest with me about uh, what my bottom line has been throughout all this, and that's what I wanted to talk to them about. So I'm not going to take it out on you guys, but I do have some serious issues right now. There's uh, some sort of obvious communication breakdown over the entirety of this whole situation, and um, and it's easy to sit there and say on the recording, we're not here to talk about the Kona case, but the fact of the matter is, is that they're the same people that I talked to about that originally. So you understand my position on that. So I understand I'm, I'm not allowed to talk to that, and I respected their wishes about not talking to that to them about that either without my attorney present, but um, I have some serious frustrations right now regarding uh, you know matters related to that. So that's... Um, that's, uh, as far as that's concerned, what, and I don't think it's something that can't be worked out. I've been trying to work it out from my end, but apparently there's only so much I can do. So, um, so that's what I wanted to speak to them about and not in a matter of any specifics regarding any other case, just, uh, like general topics, you know, like I say, it's the topics that were discussed in open court yesterday. So it's, um, yeah, it's, that's a frustration to me right now. They won't talk to me about those topics, but it's okay to talk about it in open court. That's, you know, I, I'm, I'm not buying that, so that's okay. Well, there are different rules for what can be done in open court, because your attorneys are present, the judge right. is present, and when we're having discussions over here, we've got to adhere to a different set of rules. Right, because you have me... Right, sequestered away from. Right, I understand that, um, and I've I've been working on that as much as I can from my end. But um, you know, there really is just like a couple very simple questions I have to ask them, that, and and I need to get a straight answer from somebody before I can move forward on it because I'm not getting a straight answer on my end. So okay. So you think um, they might be able to provide you with some? Uh, yes, I, I general general questions right. about right. Not, not even questions related to the case, just, you know. And are you talking about the, the hearing yesterday afternoon or the hearing yesterday morning? Yes, um, well, let's see. You had, you had two hearings. Yeah, it didn't, let's see. First hearing, um, no, it was pretty much strictly related to uh, the afternoon hearing. How about if you... Uh, if you if you can give me a, a general question, we might be able to make a phone call and see if they can. Um, well, okay, my, my position has been, and I've made no secret about this. Um, my position has been that I want to talk to them about uh, the Conan case and find out, you know, where we but, stand with but, that. But you know, you know, we can't do that, and they can't do that right now. Right. No, I, I understand that. But he's so we don't want to the, talk about the, the impression that I, I spoke to him uh, before, and he gave me the impression that he was open to that, but only if my attorneys were present. And I said, okay, fine. I'll talk to him. We'll set it up. That was a month ago. So there's something, there's communication. Oh, I see. That's all I can say about it, because they're not here, you know, to state their case, their side of the story. But I do know what they've been telling me, and so if he and, and you know he made it clear that at least at that time that um, he was open to that suggestion that I had, and um, and I'm assured that uh, see I don't, yeah I guess it just comes down to I don't know who to believe right now because there's something something is there's a hitch in the communication somewhere. And it and it's all and honestly, I wasn't that concerned about it until yesterday, and I heard some of the things that were said in court, and uh, you know, 
some of the things that were said by the by the prosecution. Or, or the prosecution. Okay. I think it was Russo speaking. But yeah, I mean, yeah, he was, from what he said, I was not at all happy with the. And actually, I had heard. Um, I had heard a day or two before that hearing that that was what was going on, and I had no idea. And then to hear it confirmed in court like that was kind of just, you know, it was, it was frustrating to me. So, you know, um, and I and honestly, I, I I'm not gonna get all in a tizzy about it until we can at least talk about it and find out what is going on. It's I, it's not that I'm not willing to accept. The people's explanations for why things, for what's going on, it's just that no one's giving me an explanation. Um, well, I guess my thought on that is we've, we've tried to do that and we'll continue to try to do that, but just keep in mind that all of us are, you know, we're bound by the rules that right. are set down for us. Yes. And, in, and in some cases, uh, the, the rules will be more restrictive than usual. And that's kind of what's going on here. Be perfectly honest, you know, because of its high profile. Well, yeah, there's that, and then you know, sometimes there's just additional rules that we have to live by, and like the standby counsel thing, frankly, is, is kind of unusual. We don't run into that very often, right? Um, and there are some other things uh, I'm not going to get into it because it's kind of legal stuff, and it's not really my strong suit. But just keep in mind that the attorneys are juggling more things than they normally would, right? And there are things I think that we would all like to be able to talk with you about. But if we just haven't had that opportunity yet. Right, and that's my concern. I, I, and, and, uh, Are these questions that you have for the attorneys, questions un, under the conditions that you know we have to speak about, are these questions that they're going to be able to answer, or are they just going to tell you, we can't talk to you about that because it's not related? There are questions to they're probably not going to want to answer unless, um, unless I have... Okay. So it's, probably, it's not right. something that they can even answer in this environment right now. Not in, not right here right now, um, but I do. I would like reconfirmation on the previous statement that Feldes had, had told me. I mean, and he he gave me that statement in an interview that was you know with just me, and I don't know if he was saying it as an official response or if he was just saying it to placate me. But he did say he was willing to do that to have a meeting with me and. Whoever, you know, whatever counsel was required so that we could discuss things openly. And it hasn't happened. Well, and, and you think that. And I'm not. And you think we're on this side stalling that? I don't know who's stalling. Somebody's stalling it. Okay. That's all I can say for sure. Um, and it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> one, thing, one thing we can tell you is uh, neither Kevin nor Frank are the kind of guys that are going to tell you something just to shine you on. So if I haven't got that impression. No. They're, they're not. And so if they've told you something, it is something that they believe is can be done, and, uh, and I don't always understand all the reasons why things work exactly the way they do in the legal right. system. But they're not going to bullshit you. Uh, it's just not. Their well, style. right. I, I mean, I, I I agree with you. I believe you up to a point. I mean, I'm not. It's not like I'm here expecting special treatment. I have no. I have no doubts about what my part is in all this. I'm just saying that. Um, yeah, from what I've seen and from what my dealings are with them so far, I'm more inclined to put my faith in the things I've heard from them than from certain other people. So you know that they have gone through what they're trying to work out, and what I think they have worked out with Vermont is unheard of too. I think they right. Have, well, I mean, and, and yeah, and we were prepared like to come and talk to you about that today, and I just that the, the, the lawyers are just. You know, they're just not sure where we stand now because of yesterday. They just they want some assurance that, that we're still kind of going. Well, that was a good point. I hadn't even thought of it in that way, but now that it's on the news, the people there are going to read it too. So. Well, and that's the difficulty that they're having there. You know, they've been on conference calls talking to them saying, I thought this guy was, you know, I thought we were, they, he's on board. And so they're, that, frankly, that's why we're, we went through this trouble today to meet with you today to just kind of, so we could give them a feel for, yeah, how things are, and where where we where we stand, and what we can tell them where we stand. And this was just, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's going to be hard for anybody to accept, but especially them, I would imagine. And, uh, 
I didn't really have anything to do with our arrangement. And about my years, perspective, yeah. so okay. But I mean, it'll be something that they can't work past. They they've worked through some pretty miracle stuff right now. So I think this is something they can probably they just they want some assurance that uh, we yeah. can, we're going to be able to go back down that same road that we were on. And I we made a major turn. <laughs> I don't imagine this will stay strictly between you and me and people in this room, but you, I believe the people in this room know me well enough now to know that um, that when I say what happened yesterday has nothing to do with our arrangement, like I say, it's not some part of some grand scheme, but um, I already know how this all ends for me. So, well, look, I mean, it's good. I think that we we can hear that from you. That that's just yeah. That was an opportunity that, that that happened there, and right. That's what it was. Some of the things that they're concerned about, and that they're getting questioned about by like Vermont, for example. Because, uh, like Jeff said, we know that they had a long conference call with Vermont today, trying to explain what happened and answer questions in you know, Vermont. We saw a draft version of the letter, and uh, it was everything you asked for. I mean, it truly was. And uh, I think they're trying to answer some pretty tough questions from Vermont right now about basically what the fuck. Right, but I mean, still, even still, from their perspective, um, I, they I mean, come on, let's face it, yeah, what happened yesterday, ooh, I'm a bad guy, I tried to escape, but um, let's be honest, nobody really thought I was a good guy before that, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like being escaping suddenly makes me untrustworthy, I was kind of untrustworthy before that, so. <laughs> you, you, at least you have the perspective of, you know, have an unrealistic perspective of <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, um, and obviously, <laughs> I think you probably especially know that I'm not going to get another opportunity like that, at least not within my lifetime, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what to tell them, you know, all I can say is that, um, I mean, nothing's changed as far as uh, my day to day, my reality, you know, it's still, it's still the same. You still envision a way where we can get to meet meet both of our goals, where we can get what we I want think, out of this. I think so, but um, like I say, after after yesterday, I had some frustrations of my own. So, uh, so that was kind of the catalyst, that, you know. So what you're saying is there, there's a couple things you need cleared up from them. I do, yeah, and I need, I mean, and honestly, like we've talked about before, like all this other stuff, this like little bargaining chips, whatever you want to call it, you know, that's, that is all one thing, but, but you know, everybody knows what uh, my bottom line concern is and all this, that I, you know, that I wanted this all wrapped up as quickly as possible. And, uh, like I said, I was in open court yesterday, and it's obviously not happening. Now, so. Uh, so that's you know, and I'm and I'm. It's not that, uh, like I said, it's not that I'm uh, pointing the finger, or placing blame on anyone. I haven't even had an explanation of why things are the way they are. So how do I know whose fault it is, or if it's anyone's fault? I don't even know that. So. But um, but that doesn't mean it does, didn't you know kind of. You know, because I, I remember, I, I remember all the interviews we've had, I remember what was said since day one, and, and, and my perspective hasn't changed from any of that. Yeah, granted, we've talked about a lot more things since then, but those are all things that I already had in my head before, just because they're out on the table now, that doesn't change anything of what I wanted originally, what, what we talked about originally, it's all, it's all still the same issue, so. Anyway, that's okay. It's all good. So all that being said, where can we go from here? Um, I honestly I don't know. I don't know that uh, we can go anywhere until I 
get some straight answers on, you know, what I, what I was just talking about. Because, uh, because really, that that is, that has been my, my bottom line all, all along. And, uh, and, you know, I won't be a bit, I think I know what's going on, but I need confirmation before I decide to take the next step or steps, whatever it takes to... And, and I don't know specifically what you're talking about, but I mean, it's very possible that, that, that it's something, whatever your questions are, that they, they may not be able to answer them for... because... Right, for other reasons. Yeah. No, I understand that. I mean, I, I know there's... Regardless of how unusual the situation is, that doesn't mean we can make it even more unusual. So. I mean, they're... I know they still have guidelines and rules and we have to follow them. You know, I'm not expecting all it, the answers. Just, nobody, just want, nobody wants to cross a line that we've been told by a judge can't be crossed. And right. They they can't do that. Nobody can. And so... Yeah. No, I... Yeah, I know. I mean, I, all I can tell you is you're going to have to use your judgment on the information that you're getting and see if you can do no, it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but... Um, But it's uh, <laughs> it's not an easy thing when you get everything through a, a middleman, as it were. So, um, like I say, I don't know who to put the blame on right now. I'm pretty sure I know, but you know, it's I I was trying really hard to work with everybody on this, keep everybody happy. But as we all know, that doesn't always happen. So, and I don't. You know, I don't want this to turn into any more. My whole concern with in all of this, and I know what's going to happen. If I have to do it, I will. But you know, if I if I have to take the next step and just freaking, you know, it's going to turn into even more of a three ring circus and more. That, that nobody wants. Right, and nobody wants that, and I don't think they want that. So I that's why I thought it was in everyone's best interest that you know that we could all have a meeting, you know, like. At all parties involved. But once again, sit down and have a meeting, just like in the beginning. Like when there was no question about the legality or whether this was proper or improper. You know what? It was all, there was nothing weird or unusual about that. It was a standard interview and there was no objections or court orders or paperwork or petitions. You know, all this stuff that's happened since then, it seems like it's done nothing. It hasn't changed anything. I still come over here and talk to you about stuff. It hasn't changed any of that. It hasn't changed my bottom line at all. All it's done is made everything more complicated for everyone else involved. And the and, 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 and at the bottom know. of that, I still I don't get a straight answer on anything. Well, I mean, maybe I have been. I hope I have been at least on a few things, but definitely not on everything. Because I'm not there. I don't know. I don't see all the emails. I don't see all the paperwork. I don't see what's. I don't hear what's said. You know. And uh, it's not even that I want to hear or know all that stuff, but I'd at least like to hear and know about the stuff that pertains to me and what my interest in it is. So. I think one of their uh, concerns, and, and I think we all share it, is that yesterday's actions, regardless of why you took them, uh, are just going to create new hurdles for them from yeah. the point of I mean, literally, they had something, I really think it was just about agreed to. Uh, it may have even been agreed to, and I just don't know it. But like I said, uh, we saw a draft version of the letter that had, I think, everything that you discussed or wanted. Uh -huh. it. So they had achieved that. Um, and then that yesterday has now endangered that. Uh, in addition, you know, they're, I think they're concerned now that maybe you have a different agenda than what you told us, which is you were very specific. You know, I don't want any media attention. Uh, this has created a bit of a frenzy. I gotta believe that your next court appearance is going to be standing. There's going to be a lot. There's probably going to be a lot of vigilantes guarding the door on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm afraid there's going to be. You know, there's only there was only a couple of meeting for people there yesterday. I'm afraid to, tomorrow is going to have some yeah. a fair amount more media people, unfortunately. And then, arguably, one of the Probably the biggest potential hurdles now is, you know, we know you've indicated that you want to represent yourself on the things for which you're not charged, um, and this could be a huge hurdle now that didn't previously exist. Right. I, I, I get that, yeah. These are all things that all of 
us are thinking about, but to be honest, they're probably more focused on it than the rest of us. And you may not have thought about those things, but that's what they're mulling over. Right. No, I, I get that. I get what you're saying. And honestly, I really hadn't thought of it at all until you mentioned it. I, um, I was I was concerned about the media coverage, not really thinking about the effect it would have on the things we've discussed, thinking more about, you know, that is my bottom line. I didn't want a bunch of press and didn't want a bunch of drama. And uh, honestly, I could have lived with the drama as long as I had been successful in escaping, but uh, since I did, now I'm like, man, I really wish I hadn't created all this drama. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, maybe we could, uh, maybe I, we could step out and I can make a phone call over and just yeah. express some things, you know, just let them, let them know some, some concerns. I don't know what the specific questions are. It sounds like they're probably questions that wouldn't be able to be answered. In this setting with the people that are here. No, because probably not. But, but I mean, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not. I appreciate that. You're all understanding. Yeah, know, it's, I mean, that. I'm not. I, I have no problem with other people speaking for me. You know, the bottom line is I get to make all the decisions in the end. I'm not going to be coerced or tricked into something that I don't know I'm getting into at this point. So, yeah, I mean, if you need to pass on in your own words whatever you think is going on. Go for it, you know, and I'll, the more communication we have on the issue, the quicker we get resolved, and I can get to the bottom of whatever's going on in my end, so, you know. All right, well, uh, let us step out for a minute. All right.
Okay, and I appreciate your uh, patience here. Um, we, we talked to the, uh, the attorneys, and uh, they're more than happy to sit down and, and talk with you, just like Kevin well, always said. Always have been. Yeah, just like Kevin said before, nothing's changed. I mean, we knew that, but uh, we okay. just reconfirmed that. And they had us, what they're going to do is they're going to draft a uh, letter that says, we understand, we, the prosecutors, understand that uh, Israel Keys wants to sit down and talk about uh, whatever issues. Things. Yeah. Um, just leave it completely open uh, with his attorneys, with your attorneys. Right. They're, um, ready, they're ready first thing tomorrow morning. Yep. Okay. And they're going to, uh, they're going to send that to your attorneys, and, uh, and you should get a copy. They're going to CC well. a copy to you so you know that it was sent? All right. Good. And well, my attorney should show up tonight, so that's good to know. So you'll have, a copy, you'll have a copy of the letter, you'll know exactly what it says, and then it's up to you and your attorneys uh, whether or not you follow through on it. All right. Well, that would be much better than a uh, shot in the dark. Yep. <laughs> and, and they're, not, they're, they're not doing this to blow you off uh, here today, it's just they're concerned that you're going to ask questions. I, I, yeah, I kind of told them what was going on. And no, that's fine. I mean, they I don't want to cross the line, they want to be. No, I talk. agree. I, I don't want to talk about these things until we can talk about okay. them. I don't want to pussyfoot around or, you know, like talk around the edges of issues when we could just sure. get it all out in the open. And that's what I've been trying to do. But, you know, apparently I was right in my assumptions, so that's good to know. We'll get things moving now, and uh, especially, you know, if they get that letter to them, and I, then there's no doubt in my mind as to what's going on. So, okay. And now we'll, we'll, we'll talk to them, and they may shoot that out as soon as they can, and who knows, maybe you're, uh, you're, uh, you guys will get it, leave in the seat. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, did, have you guys heard what time I court tomorrow? I think it's at 2 o'clock. Yeah, I, I think it is. Alright. Yeah. Alright, good. So, there's plenty of time. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. It's good to know. Well, uh, I imagine I'll see you tonight. So yeah. All right. That's some words. Well, I think unless you have anything, any other questions or anything else you want to. Uh, not. Yeah. Not. I don't know. You want a nap before tonight? No. <laughs> no <I'm great. laughs> all right. Well, uh, hang tight. The floor is here for just a minute. All right. We'll be back and we'll probably be heading uh, back. All right. All right.
Thank you. 